ain't gonna find this on no YouTube. You ain't gonna find this on no, no uh, T-shirt. It's just something that people say, my father was the inspiration in my life. Uh, this person was the inspiration in my life. No, I made some up myself. This is what I made up and this is what I live by. I'm gonna give great effort so I can get great enjoyment. Now, let me explain it to you. Can you get great enjoyment without giving great effort? Yes, you can. You see your mama right there, she can say, hey boy, here $10, go out there to the ice cream truck and buy some ice cream. Woo, great enjoyment. Or dad can say, hey, hey man, here you $40. Go to the movies, go to the mall. You can't buy nothing too much for $40 no more. But uh, <laughs> hey, great enjoyment, you're going to the mall. All your family could say, we finna go to Walt Disney World next month. The whole family go to Walt Disney World. We gonna have a ball. You ain't do too much for that. But see that real person in me saying this, if you want great enjoyment, you gotta give great effort. And see what I do, everybody say, the first thing you need to do, make your goals list, put the goal list on the mirror. I want the goals. I want something where I can get some enjoyment. So I start off with my list, and I've been working on my list with about 10 things for about 20 years. I done got eight of them. For the last 20 years, I've been working on a 10-year list. One of them is retirement, which I did two years ago, you know? And I'm up to, I got two left on the list. I got two left on the list. Now the number one is, I want to be a millionaire. Now I'm looking at my life and how things going and what I'm doing, and I say, 20 more years, I could be a millionaire. I'm 76 right now, by, 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 I'm, I'm 56 right now, by 76, I could be a millionaire. If I follow the track I'm on, that's a long time to get that enjoyment I want. Well, why you want enjoyment? Why you want enjoyment? Because if I'm a millionaire, I can have financial stability. If I have financial stability, I can do things for my mama, do things for my grandkids, my great grandkids. If I got some possibility, listen to this one. I can have no more bills. Mm -hmm. Now, see, that's what, this is what some people say. I don't believe this. Some people say, when you got a bill, you a slave. Hmm? I got a bill, so I'm a slave to my bills. Mm -hmm. So if I ain't got no more bills, I ain't no slave no more. I don't believe in that, but I understand it. I don't want no more bills. I don't want to be no slave to no bills. So I want to be a millionaire one day. I'm going to get it if the Lord bless me live 20 more years. I got a plan. I got a plan. But see, when you set them enjoyment goals and you go up and you say, I'm going up on my goal. I, I want this for enjoyment. I want that for the job. I want to give me a wife. Sometimes we think backwards. Mm -hmm. So we say this. We say this. Give me the best spot. You look at, watch this. I want to be in the pros one day. But I don't want to play high school or middle school. You're thinking, you know what backwards. <laughs> what about this one? What about this one? I want to be a doctor, lawyer, or everybody on this trip, everybody on this engineer trip. I want to be an engineer. But they don't even know what kind of engineer they want to be. They got about 10 different engineers. Mechanical engineers, electric engineers. That engineer is a custodian in a school. Ain't nothing wrong with that either. But if you say you want to be an engineer, you need to know what you want to be an engineer for. But if you make it C's or D's in school, how you going to be a doctor, lawyer, engineer? You thinking backwards. Y'all feel me? Now, wait a minute. What about this one? Ooh, ooh. I want that pretty girl. And the girlfriend I get, she going to be pretty. She going to look good. She going to be smart. She going to be intelligent. She going to have everything together. But guess what? I don't want to do nothing. I don't want to. I want to be trifling. You, no, that one do work sometimes. <laughs> you can be a little trifling. But wait a minute. Even though you want that good girl and you ain't got nothing going for you, you still got to get effort on your game, your swagger. You got to know how to talk. Now, you might don't have to be the smartest cat in the world, but you better get some effort to get that good girl. Y'all understand what I'm saying? Now, look. This thing real simple. You ain't gotta be no doctor, you ain't gotta be no lawyer. It's real simple. Repeat after me if y'all can. Help me out right here. Figure out in life what gives you enjoyment. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
That's the effort you put forward. And that's what you're going to get out of it. It's just that simple. If I want enjoyment, I got to give effort, and that's what I'm going to get out of it. Now, look here. I'm closing out right here. All you young men, when you see me, and Ishmael, I know what I'm talking about, and George Brooke know what I'm talking about, I call them big guys. Hey, big guy, how you doing? All the parents, I usually call them big coaches. I don't care if you're coaching or not. Hey, big coach, what's going on? Hey, big coach, what's going on? And everybody say, why you call him big coach? He ain't no coach. No, it's a respect thing. They coaches, and y'all, I respect y'all by calling y'all big guys. Now look, in life, we got to keep moving. We got to keep living. We got to keep coaching and helping people in life. Keep living, keep moving, keep coaching big coaches and big guys. Thank y'all very much.